when I mentioned the definition of environment, the, the definition is um, relatively permanent changes in environment behavior relations due to certain types of experiences. The certain types of experiences that produce those relatively permanent changes are called Pavlovian or classical conditioning uh, on the one hand and operant conditioning on the other hand. Um, and they've both been studied now. Pavlovian conditioning has been studied for more than 100 years. Operant conditioning has been studied for more than 70 years. Um, and we, and we've, uh, we've discovered um, basic laws, um, scientific laws that apply to both. Um, Pavlovian conditioning, um, you know, Pavlov first studied dogs salivating in Pavlovian conditioning. He was not necessarily interested in applications to human behavior, but now we know that Pavlovian conditioning applies significantly to human behavior. For example, um, drugs that produce physical dependence, um, and by physical dependence I mean tolerance and withdrawal, like heroin, alcohol, caffeine, nicotine, the tolerance and withdrawal that, that are produced but when, those drug, when, when someone becomes physically dependent on those drugs is um, classically conditioned. It's not a, an innate or inherent function of the drug, it's a function of the environment in which the person takes the drug. And so now we understand drugs that produce physical dependence much better um, based upon classical conditioning. Um, other things include how we acquire fears and phobias, um, how we acquire taste aversions, um, all of those things occur through Pavlovian conditioning. And even though Pavlov didn't, d uh, this wasn't his interest in the beginning uh, when, he, when he studied the dogs, um, Pavlovian conditioning now comprises a major part of, of all behavior therapy and cognitive behavior therapy. So um, Pavlovian conditioning, um, even though people you know, often joke that it just ta you know, they, we just study slobbering dogs, um, it applies very significantly not only to understanding some complex human behaviors but also to treating them. Um, clinically. Um, as applicable as Pavlovian conditioning is to human behavior, operant conditioning is even more applicable because operant conditioning really refers to the learning of behaviors that interact or operate on the environment and that includes everything we do. Um, from the most trivial things such as picking up a cup of coffee to more complex things like talking to somebody. And so uh, when you have a type of learning that encompasses almost everything that, a, that an organism does, then it ends up being very important. Um, and it's also, I think, important to point out that operant conditioning has been demonstrated with a wide range of species, um, including, and I would argue especially humans, uh, because of the behavioral plasticity that I mentioned earlier. But it's de been demonstrated with insects, it's been demonstrated in individual neurons, um, and most especially in human beings.